the, another biggie that everyone always points. When it, when you do Batman mainstream to people come, you say Batman mainstream uh, or Batman comics to the mainstream people, they'll pull like, oh, Dark Knight Returns or yeah. Arkham Asylum or Killing Joke. Killing Joke. Oh, Killing Joke's good. And I kind of like Killing Joke. Cause we talk about this, no one gets the end because Batman kills the Joker. No. Yes. All right. We didn't talk yes. about right. this. Well, we got it. Okay. Let's have Killing Joke as our second in command here. No, that's what I love about it. It's like no one's noticed, like, how many 30 years on almost. Batman kills the Joker. That's why it's called the killing joke. The Joker tells the killing joke at the end. Batman reaches out and breaks his neck, and that's why the laughter stops and then the light goes out, because that was their last chance at crossing that bridge. And Alan Moore wrote the ultimate Batman Joker story, finished it. Fuck but, out of here. Yeah, but he did it in such a way that it's ambiguous, so people will never have to be sure, which means it doesn't have to be the last Batman Joker story. It's brilliant. It's like... So for those, I mean... It's a super Walt construction. Walt Flanagan, my yeah. friend Walt Flanagan, he's like, I can't stand the end of that. They're just laughing. No, the they're book. not. They're laughing and Batman reaches out, grabs his neck and breaks it. And the laughter stops. It actually abruptly stops, which tells you he's just reached out and killed him. It's really obvious if you look back at it. So the only thing that's missing is yeah. a quirk or something like that. A sound, a little onomatopoeia. Yeah, but indicated. that would have made it too obvious. And I, right. know that, I know, I'm sure that Alan Moore wanted to make it this is the last Batman Joker story. This is the inevitable end. This is the killing joke. It says it in the title. But I if I say I've never that... I've seen it. I've been reading that book for know, years. I look, never saw that. If you look at it again, it's, it's the most obvious thing in the world. And then the light switches because he's just killed him. It's like there's no chance of them crossing that bridge anymore. Oh, that redefines that yeah. book in such a major way. <laughs> and that's man. why it's so great. <laughs> and it's so strange because then they... Well, that would make it an Elseworlds book because he kills the Joker. Yeah, because he didn't want to. I mean, he's not... I mean, Moore likes to be able to do... He's, he's done it all. He's given you the end of a of the end of this conflict, but at the same time, it's ambiguous enough that any future story will just be another echo of this. I wonder how many fucking people see that. Nobody, I've never seen it, people talking about it, and it's, yeah, it's so fucking obvious. The only person who's ever mentioned it is Brian Boland, who hints at it and then leaves it trailing, you know? And he would know. <laughs> and he, of course, you know, he says the Joker reaches out, he, he goes for his neck, and he breaks his neck, and the laughter stops. I wonder if he's ever said that on a panel. No, he's, no one's ever said, because it has to be a big, that's what makes it great. And it's what makes oh. it the ultimate Batman Joker story. Dude, you have fucking shat. You've yeah. third eyed me and fucking shattered my world. <laughs> like that, that's that, that, that changes the framework oh. from which I viewed that story. And, it forever. Makes and I whole, loved Killing Joker. It makes Joker. the whole book so much better. Yeah, honestly. it just it really it does. took it, it elevated. It's it. the finale, it's the end. It's, of course, it has to be the end. He's just crippled. Alan Moore secretly yeah. wrote the last yeah, Batman yeah. story. Of course he did. And no, of course, <laughs> that was, of course he was he hired to write. You know, he did it, and he but he did it in such a way that no, it doesn't. If only if you notice, which is beautiful. David. 